Yo, what is up you guys, partners Renault Pluter and welcome back to a brand new video. So today guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the updated version of the gift cards to friends glitch in GTA 5 Online after the 1.50 hotfix that happened in April 15th. So before this video starts, make sure you guys hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe for more awesome GTA 5 Online videos. So let's go ahead and begin. So before we actually start this glitch, make sure you guys watch the whole video and you guys pay attention to the actual text titles that I will have uh, throughout the video because I had a lot of questions in my last video regarding some things that I already had in the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the very end because I do post text titles throughout the video, giving some tips and everything just in case you guys do come across some problems doing this glitch. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and explain what the receiver needs to have and what the giver has to have. So obviously the giver just needs a personal vehicle that he would like to give to his friend and the receiver would need a Fagio or any vehicle that he doesn't care about that will get replaced or overwritten with the vehicle that his friend is going to give him and he will also need his MOC. So before you guys actually start doing the glitch you guys need to make sure that you guys are in a free aim session so to do that you guys need to head over to your single player and you guys will go to your pause menu and you guys will go to settings and then on controls and on the second option you guys will see targeting mode and make sure that's set to free aim so you can only change that in single player so once you have changed that you guys can go back to online and preferably i would recommend that you guys do this in a invite only session so that people won't disturb you guys while you guys are doing this glitch and you guys can get things done faster so i do recommend that you guys do this in a invite only so after you guys are done with the glitch you guys can obviously change your targeting mode back to where you guys had it. if you guys weren't in the assisted aim you guys can go back to the targeting mode so that's not a problem so the reason why we're going to want to be in the targeting mode free aim is because there's more people in assisted aim than free aim and we're gonna have to use that same method of joining someone in a different targeting mode so the steps are basically almost the same thing as the previous glitch before it got hot fixed all right so i'm gonna go ahead and post some text titles up on the video so that you guys can see which person you guys are watching so that we can get some confusion out of the way so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to go ahead and come over here to the casino, the same location. So the giver has to get glitched out. So in order to get glitched out, he's going to stand by the door. As you guys can see that my friend is standing by the door and I'm going to go ahead and kill him. So this step is going to be different. It doesn't have to be timed no more. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kill him. And then after I kill him, he's going to go ahead and join someone in a different targeting mode. And preferably uh, you guys can find someone in a different targeting mode if, if you guys go to your communities. If you guys are in a big community and you guys see a lot of people playing GTA 5, uh, just make sure that you guys do have a person ready to join that is in a different targeting mode. And for Xbox, you can either have a different friend that's in a different targeting mode, or if you guys do have communities or groups or clubs, then just look for someone that's in a different targeting mode for all you Xbox players. So now I'm just going to go ahead and kill my friend, and as soon as I kill him, he's going to go ahead and go to one of the communities. And he's going to join someone else in a different targeting mode and he's going to go ahead and accept the first alert and he will decline the second alert telling him if he wants to join the person in a different targeting mode all right guys so once you guys have killed the giver you guys are going to make sure that the giver waits until the respawn bar is filled up to about 75 to 80 percent filled and then you guys are going to proceed to walk to the purple circle and then after that you guys should respawn once again outside sometimes it's going to spawn you in front of the casino sometimes it's going to spawn you somewhere else close by around the casino but you guys would know if you guys did the step right if your mini map is blank as you guys can see on the screen so the next step you guys are going to want to do is the receiver is going to get in his vehicle the one that he's going to overwrite and you're going to go ahead and tell the giver to get in so if the giver can't get into the receiver's car what you're going to go ahead and want to do is you're going to go ahead and move your vehicle to the parking lot or somewhere else nearby so that the giver can actually get in and make sure you guys have the vehicle to passengers only so once you guys have done that, you guys are going to go ahead and go to the back of your MOC. You guys will go ahead and see the top left alert saying to press right to store this vehicle in your mobile operation center. So you're going to go ahead and press right on the D-pad. If you guys already have a vehicle in there, it's okay. Just go ahead and continue on with the glitch and press OK. And then you guys will notice that you guys are actually frozen. So you're just going to go ahead and tell the giver to just simply step out of the vehicle and then get back in. So once you guys have done that, you guys will unfreeze and you guys will proceed to go to the parking garage. 
So in this next step, it's going to go ahead and give you guys the option to enter the parking garage. You guys are going to simply select parking garage. And once you guys do click parking garage, you guys are going to quickly press on your home button on the PlayStation controller or on the Xbox controller. And after you guys have pressed the home button, you guys are just going to simply go back to GTA 5. After that, you guys will notice that you guys are once again frozen and you guys remain like this for about 30 seconds. So currently in this step, the giver actually doesn't see you in the vehicle. He's going to see that he's the only one in the vehicle. So the next thing to do is just the giver is going to wait until you reappear inside the vehicle, which will be about 30 seconds later. And then he will simply just go ahead and step out of the vehicle. So once the receiver has gotten that little animation of going into the garage, you guys will notice that you guys are in an infinite loop screen. So the next step you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to join someone in a different targeting mode. So once you get this first alert, you guys will go ahead and accept it. And once you get this alert, you guys will go ahead and decline. And after this, you guys will notice that your screen will probably be flickering or you guys will just see a gray screen or black screen like I do. So let's go ahead and talk about the giver now because the giver has to do an additional step. So what the giver has to do is he's going to go ahead and head over to the pause menu, go to online and he's going to start up a mission. It can be any type of mission as long as he's going to host it. So he's going to go ahead and do this step twice because it won't let him actually start up a job because he will get an alert to return back to GTA 5. So after he's returned back to GTA 5, you guys will notice that you guys are actually frozen. And for some people, the job will automatically start up. But for those who don't actually get the job started up on the first time, all you're going to simply want to do is just go ahead and use a grenade and blow yourself up so that you guys can unfreeze yourself and then start up the mission once again. And after they've loaded up into the mission and making sure that they're the host, all the receiver is going to want to do is just go ahead and join them through the party or through a game invite. So you're going to go ahead and accept this first alert. So for some people, you guys will see the second alert. And for some people, you guys will actually join the job and you guys will be in the menu. If that did happen to you, then just go and simply get out of the job and you can continue on with the glitch. And if you guys did get this alert, then just continue on with the glitch as well. So the next thing you guys are going to want to do is just go ahead and step out of the vehicle or you guys will automatically start falling or sometimes you'll just die like I just did. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and call up your MOC because you guys will notice that actually disappeared. So just go ahead and simply call up your MOC once again. So when you guys do call over your MOC, sometimes you will notice that it will spawn in the parking lot and sometimes it will spawn down the road or some other places. You can simply go ahead and drive it and you guys can move it to a suitable location. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and tell the giver to just simply lean on the back of the MOC. And then the receiver is going to go ahead and walk up to the blue circle. And he's going to go ahead and enter the MOC alone. So once you guys do enter alone, you guys will notice that you guys are once again in an infinite loop screen. So all you're going to want to simply do is just go ahead and once again join someone in a different targeting mode. So you guys will once again accept this first alert. And you guys will go ahead and decline the second alert. So once you guys have done that, you guys will notice that you guys are once again outside of the MOC and you guys are invincible and your minimap is actually blank. So all you're going to want to simply do is just go ahead and make your way over to your friend's vehicle and just go ahead and get in. So once you guys do step in, you guys will just teleport inside of your MOC and you guys can just simply get back in and just go ahead and drive outside. If you guys step out of the vehicle, you guys will notice that it's now yours and now you guys have completed this glitch. And as you guys can see, my friend's vehicle is right here. So I did get some comments regarding this last step saying that some people actually wouldn't teleport to their MOC once they got in the giver's vehicle. So when that happens, you guys will unfortunately have to restart the glitch because somewhere, somehow something went wrong. So unfortunately, you guys are going to have to restart once again. But nevertheless, guys, it's still a really easy glitch to do. And this time there's no timing involved. So that's really good for all those people that aren't really that good with timing or the people that are sometimes impatient. So also guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing this for educational purposes only. So if you guys do get caught by Rockstar because you guys are doing this glitch and something does happen to your account, that is no longer under my responsibility as this video is for only educational purposes. So anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe for more awesome GTA 5 online videos. So anyways guys, this one your host Alejandro and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.